and I don't mean to be self-righteous, I'm just being real. It's what I saw, it's what I experienced, and that's what a poet does, see. In the last few days, my poems have changed, and I tend, most poets I know actually, tend to like the things they've written just now. Better, I think so, you know. Basically, to be hyper means you can't concentrate for any real amount of time. Hyper is you're uh, on the bus, you're sitting there, and you have to move, you know, uh, all these things, and it's, it's a burden. I think poetry works towards sincerity. I don't think it necessarily works toward the truth, but it works it works toward an idea of the truth. It, it works toward a conception of trying to say things that hold true. But to say that poetry is about truth, I don't think I can say that. Nor is it about beauty. I think what I like is to, when I go, is to find a cafe in, in one of those old cities like I talked about. This time it'll be way up in the sky and you can sit there. And the thing is, you never get bored. If you get bored, it's not heaven. Then maybe it's purgatory. And if you get too bored, it's like hell. But if, if, but if you're sitting there and having one cappuccino after another and everything's just fine for eternity, that sounds cool. Well, the sickness hasn't left, hasn't left me, don't know why. If my health does not come back, I'm gonna die. Here comes my ride. It's not that fast, and I know why. Cause my friends don't drive the bins, they drive them yellow dots and 